All right, so Springfield Armory has come out with a 10 millimeter 1911. That's very cool. Of course, they've been making the 45 for years. So we got the TRP operator in 45. We're gonna shoot it first, then we're gonna shoot the 10, and we're gonna compare them. 45 versus the 10 millimeter. Let's take a look. All right, we got one on the ground. We got one poured out here. We got another one there. Looks like, up, oh, spun out. We got through three and exited out of the third one. So we lost our bullet out there somewhere in the berm. So we definitely got at least three from the 45 using the TAC XP bullets. Now we're gonna try the 10 millimeter. All right, now we have the new Springfield Armory operator in 10 millimeter. This is one cool looking gun. It's TRP, five inch barrel, 10 millimeter, Barnes TAC XP. Gonna shoot the water jug. It's going a little bit faster. Let's see what happens. Whoa. <laughs> All right, faster bullet, lots of impact. Got one on the ground, two, three. Am I seeing an exit there? Yeah, I guess so. Not in there. So we got three jugs again. Hey, wait a minute. Just when we turned off the cameras, we looked down, we found the 10 millimeter bullet on the ground. Now, we got about three jugs worth of penetration out of both the 45 and the 10, which is the way Barnes designed these bullets. But when you, we went back and looked at the slow-mo, we could see a lot more energy out of the 10. Same kind of penetration, good for personal protection, but if you want a hunting round, there are hunting rounds for the 10 that really give you a lot more penetration that's why you choose which bullet you want. Now, this one did a great job for what we're doing here. If you want to hunt, pick a hunting load and use that. The 10 millimeter, definitely more energy. By the way, if you want to see the Springfield 10 millimeter used for handgun hunting, we did that with the six inch version. You can click on the link right here.